So this is a pretty venerable franchise. Were you guys all fans of the films before uh, signing on for this? Oh, Huge yeah. fan. Yeah, oh, yeah. I used to, well, I remember the first one, I was like 12, 13 years old watching it with my girlfriends. Yeah, I've been a fan ever since. And uh, it's great about Final Destination 5 because it's, they put everything in from the first. There's little pieces for dark humor or, you know, the suspense in this one. They, they really raise the bar as far as visual effects. And um, you keep thinking of how many possible ways can you die, and they keep figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's great is, like, if you have a phobia or is there, if there's something that you have a pet peeve, they will find it. They yeah, will yeah, tweak it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was wondering if there are any scenes in particular that bugged you guys. I, I, my, my skin crawls when I watch uh, her death. I mean, when, when Jackie's, in the, uh, even just hearing her talk about shooting it <laughs> makes, makes me anxious. I get, I get very, very squeamish with that. And then some of them, you don't even have time because they just come out of nowhere. Like, yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> Well, let's make him squeamish. Talk about uh, shooting your scene. Oh, well, okay. Uh, laser eye surgery. Um, very, very uncomfortable. The speculum was in my eye, and it's not any kind of effects there. It is an actual speculum. They couldn't have eye. a stunt eye? Right? That's what I was thinking. Like, where is this, like, where's the Where's your eye, eye double? Eye? Where's my eye double for this? And then you're saying you had to do some uh, training because you were a gymnast. I prior, did, right? yes. Um, How was that for you? It was it was just kind of a, a dream come true. I you know ever since quitting gymnastics, I'd always sort of been Jones and to go back. I was like, what if I hadn't have quit? Would I still be doing it? So for you know my first movie to get to actually go back and, and be a gymnast again for three months was just incredible. I um, from the day I got the part, I went into a gym and started training and uh, had about eight weeks where I trained about like three hours a day, five or six days a week, depending on what our shooting schedule was like. So it was great. Um, I have to ask, what is the sensation like of sort of watching yourself die in a very gruesome way? It's a weird, it's a weird <laughs> thing, right? It's, it's strange. We're still not used to it, yeah. yeah. No. Especially with the 3D and it coming right at you. The whole time we're watching this, I know we're thinking, or I'm thinking at least, gosh, I, I can't imagine my mom watching this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, It's yeah. really, really, really scary. And it's crazy, like, it's always, I don't think anyone will ever feel comfortable watching themselves die. I hope the, not. I know, right? And especially with this movie in 3D, and it's shot amazing. The way Steve nailed it. Steve, Stephen Quayle is just absolutely brilliant. And so it makes it even worse watching yourself because you feel you're actually right there watching, you know, the laser eye surgery. It feels like you're right there. You're on the bridge, and that's what it definitely gives the audience. You feel like you're participating. I have a hard time watching it even in Miles' YouTube video. Um, every which, time is, which is brilliant, by the way. Isn't it? Yeah, Isn't it so good? Mark? It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it, d death in general is kind of scary. <laughs> it scares me. Making it's one thing, and then actually watching it uh, comes out right at you. Cool. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. See you again.